What if Zapier knew what you actually wanted to do as a community manager and provided you with all the operational needs that you actually have? You manage your communities across several different platforms like Slack, Circle and Discord. It can become an operational nightmare. If you're posting on different platforms the same message over and over again, you've probably become really good at using the copy-paste shortcuts. Or maybe you've attempted to automate tasks such as welcoming new members, and then you've got stuck trying to figure out how to use Zapier to manage your community. I remember the first time I tried to automate using Zapier, it was super overwhelming, and I just ended up clicking on a whole bunch of different buttons trying to get something to work. Well, I've recently heard of a new platform called Burb, a platform that focuses on the operational aspects of community management and helps community managers with what they actually need to do behind the scenes. Imagine being able to send your members messages across multiple platforms like Slack, Circle and Discord. And how about sending a mass message to a whole bunch of members, but make it super personalized and you can choose which platform to send that message to, including email. And are you sick of looking at metrics and not being able to do anything about it? I've been hearing more and more about this platform, Burb, so I was lucky enough to chat to the founder who took me behind the scenes to take a look at the platform and see how it works. So in this video, I'm gonna take a look at who should consider using Burb, the main features, some pros and cons, and pricing. Who should use Burb? Burb is a platform that focuses on creator communities as they have integrations with teaching platforms such as Thinkific and Teachable. The concept is when someone signs up to the course, you can use Burb to automate the onboarding process of having them join your community platforms. Burb recognizes that community is not a single platform. Maybe you have a real-time chat on Slack or Discord, but then you use Circle for deeper conversations. Burb offers community managers the ability to manage across these different platforms and automate processes behind the scenes. The typical people that use Burb are creators or smallish brands that have roughly 1,500 to 2,000 members in their community and they exist across different platforms and they're really looking for some way to manage all the members on the different platforms and automate the processes of communicating with their members. I do think Burb can be used by other types of communities, not just creators, especially those that run their communities on several platforms such as Slack and Circle, Slack and Discord, and they need assistance with managing multi-platform communities. In future, Burb plans to build out even more integrations, so I can see more and more use cases. So if you're using these platforms and you want a better way of managing it all, especially automating processes that you feel are just super repetitive, you should consider Burb. Features. Burb supports multiple community platforms. Here you can see that they are showing Slack and Circle being integrated, but it also supports Discord. It integrates as well with learning management systems, Thinkific and Teachable. Plus they're building integrations with email too via Google Workspace. You can send welcome messages across different platforms and it formats according to the platform. Using Burb, you can either send messages manually one by one, or they have this really awesome feature of creating customized automations for your needs. So let's talk about the automations. You can automate that when a new member joins your Slack group, for instance, you can see those in Burb, and then you can automate the welcome message in a way that best suits your needs. So you can automate to have a message be sent directly to the member as a DM, and you can choose the platform you want to message them on. Or you can post a message to the channel at the beginning of a week that mentions all the new members and welcomes them in the general channel, for instance. You can also add other actions such as 
creating certain tags to that member or adding them to a specific group. And you can really improve the onboarding experience of new members if you can automate these actions, but still make it feel personal. With Burb, you can also schedule posts or sequences of posts and messages to community members through the platform. A great example would be if a community member joins the community but doesn't visit the platform for a week, you can actually automate the process of sending that person an email to just remind them of the community platform and encourage them to hop back in. The best part about this is the email that is sent to them will look like it comes from you. I believe these automations are super powerful and it just creates this ability for an individual community manager to be able to manage at a greater scale than they would if they didn't have these automations. Member profiles can be managed. Think of this as your CRM for your community. Data is pulled in from Circle in this case. You can take additional notes, you can add tags, view course progress if you have integrated with Teachable for instance, and you can see all of their activity across different platforms. Here's a really great tip that I learned from the Burb team. You can actually tag the members by their time zone. So you can easily send members a message and choose the platform right through Burb. Say you wanna schedule an event to all your members in the Pacific time zone. You can schedule direct messages to all those using the PST tag and send them a message. The platform has really made it very simple for you to be able to do this. The Burp team did let me know that they're currently building a feature where they can integrate events better in their platform as well. So for instance, if you create an event in Circle, then that will be integrated with Burb where you can add Zoom meeting links, choose the tags, set the time and date, etc., all whilst staying in the Burb platform but it will distribute to all the members in your circle community. They also have a ton of metrics and the great aspect about Burb is that they really tried to create ways that you can action these insights. So whether it is sending a certain group of people within your community a, a personalized message after you've looked at the metrics and realized that they haven't been that active. I think this is really where Burb shines because not only do you have the automations that are very powerful, you can look at the engagement levels in real time and then just start making things happen to encourage more engagement. Pros and cons. What I like about Burb is they have truly simplified everything behind the scenes. It's like community management 101. It's way simpler to use than Zapier and they really do make life easier. They're also creating a lot of templating using best practices from community management and you can just use these templates, customize it for your own needs. Now onto the cons. Burb is still new and integrations are still being built out. If you're used to dealing with more robust platforms where they have all the integrations already laid out for you, then you're probably going to have to wait a little longer with Burb given how new they are. So we only have three community platforms available to us currently, but hopefully they add more soon. I'd also like to see a better testing site. When I was provided a demo, it was great to see behind the scenes but I couldn't truly test the platform without setting up test Slack groups myself or test Discord groups. It would have been great if they could have provided a better playground for me to be able to test this properly. Perhaps some dummy accounts of community members so I can really experience what it would be like to be a community member with the Burb being the management system. Unfortunately, as it currently stands, you'd have to test this with friends or colleagues as you wouldn't really want to test these automations out with actual members. Let's talk pricing. So Burb offers three different pricing tiers. They have a free version, which is great. Uh, the free version is pretty comprehensive, to be honest. The main differences between the tiers is more around the number of members that you can have in the community 
as well as the number of what they call jobs per month, which I believe are like the different types of tasks that you would set up. The great news is you still have detailed engagement metrics even in the free version and you have unlimited automation runs and unlimited messages and posts. In the creator and pro version, you get to increase the number of members that you're allowed in the community as well as the number of jobs. In the pro version, you also receive custom onboarding and setup. I think what's really interesting to note is that in the pro version, it says up to a thousand members. I'm not sure what happens when you start to go over the a thousand members. And that's something that I couldn't find on their website, but I'm sure if you contact the team, they'll be able to customize the solution that best meets your needs. Overall, I think Burb is a great option for those who are new to community management Maybe you're managing a small community across different platforms for all the different needs of those community members. You may not have much in terms of resources to manage the community, but you're looking to utilize the automations and really be able to scale up efforts using minimal resources. I love the simplicity of it. I love the automations. I love the templates that they're providing that really create the best in class around community management. So I definitely see potential with this platform in future as they integrate more and more. I highly recommend checking it out. If there's a platform that you think I should review and take a look at, please let me know or DM me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.